Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we're going to talk just a little bit more about sunglasses, a little bit about polarized or polarized lenses, and mirrors. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. I said we're going to talk just a little bit more about suns, and that's because we've already covered a lot of it. We have the video on the tinting process, that one. We recently did a sit down with Consi the customer and talked about choosing sun lens colors and all that. That video there, so watch those. A couple of things I guess I kind of missed during that one. Consumers, customers don't realize that anything in dress or clear can be made into a sunglass. We'll role play this in a moment. And it is often a far better choice as your power creeps up. I mean anything much over one, right? It's the dress, your clear pairs, they are designed to hold a prescription lens. Your sunglasses sometimes aren't. People want to try to put one in there. It doesn't work out very well. So don't overlook your dress clear stuff for a great pair of sunglasses. Underneath the sun category, which we haven't really talked about, is the world of proprietary branding. Your Costas, your Rudy's, your Maui's. All that good stuff. Lots and lots of money to be made there. They have driven a brand loyalty like nothing else in the optical world. They provide you with the support materials and the brochures. They pay for the ads and the sponsorship of the big boat races and the fishing tournaments and all that stuff. Don't overlook having a proprietary brand. It does bring people into your store. One word of warning, if you find those really over-the-top fashion-styled sunglasses, your Pradas and your Gucci's and your Juicy Couture's, they look amazing, but look at that temple. Be careful. You are literally wearing blinders when a temple gets up that thick. So watch your peripheral. They look good, but might not be all that good for walking around. Any sunglass worth mentioning again, a good backside AR, absolutely. Polarized, let's hop over to Studio P for just a minute. Oh, welcome to Studio P. If someone asks me, what is a polarized lens? I would say it is a lens that blocks light that we perceive as glare. I would probably add, and nobody likes glare. Not a bad definition. I would kind of sort of encourage you to use it as your own if you wish. The thing is that it's not really a lens. It's a lens with a polarizing filter, two separate pieces. It's the polarizing filter that blocks that light that we perceive as glare. I'm saying be careful about what you say here. There is a reason we do not have a theory video on polarization. I gave it several shots. Never really could quite pull it together. You're going to see the brochures. You'll see an example of Venetian blind, a picket fence with light weaving through it. You'll see the picture of the cross of light traveling. Your brochures, that's all conceptual. It's fine as a concept. This is a fine definition for your general consumers and understanding. Just be careful what you say beyond that. General stuff, great. If you don't realize that the person sitting in front of you and you're talking up the polarized lenses is actually the physics instructor over at the local college, well, you just might find you're going to get an earful. <laughs> hey, trust me on that. Be careful what you say. Oh. Lens that blocks light that we perceive as glare is a pretty good one. Right, uh, we'll role play this in just a second. Remember that a polarized lens can block some screens, ATMs, cell phones, car screens, navigation stuff. 
Your customer has the right to know that before they go spending the money and getting a polarized lens if they have not had one before. Look, kind of a pet peeve of mine here, polarized is really nice to have. It is not necessary. I, somehow it just seems like it's been ingrained in the optical world that somehow every sunglass should or must be polarized, okay? I could have been doing this for 40 years. I've had plenty of plain old tinted sunglasses, plenty of polarized. There's not that much difference between the two. Nothing wrong with a good old tinted lens, not to mention polarized filter adds thickness. It it gives you some finishing issues. Sometimes get that white band around it and you don't get any of that with the tinted ones. So nice, but not necessary. And somebody's going to say, but John, what about the safety and driving? And all right, you know, maybe, but it's those brochures that make you think that. If you look at the brochure, it's always the woman pushing the baby carriage or the line of handicapped children crossing the road. And if you don't have your polarized glasses on, the glare blocks through the windshield and you don't see them and you run them over and kill them all. When in reality, in our world, in our lives, it's probably, well, a whole lot closer to that. Polarized Suns backside AR. Yes, absolutely. Good backside AR on there. Mirrors, a real true mirror. We're thinking mostly in this case about solids. Somewhat flash and somewhat gradient, which you'll find on some of those nice proprietary ones. But for the moment, let's think about solid mirrors. They truly are for extreme conditions. Why is there a mirror on the front of a lens? Well, to push as much light away from that lens and away from your eye as possible. Skiing, water, high altitudes, that's what they're for. As power increases, usefulness of them decreases. And what do I mean by that? They are so dark when you put a really dark lens in a full solid mirror, the real thing. If you need your glasses, must have them, you're a minus five, minus six, that lens becomes so dark that if you go into normal lighting, like into the supermarket, you literally can't see through them. So be careful. If your powers are really high, you've got to be carrying that second pair around with you. The best thing about a mirror is there is no denying they are just super wicked cool. They look amazing. They hold up really well now. You've got color choices. It makes a great looking pair of sunglasses. Mirror, polarized, suns, backside, good backside AR, absolutely. Figured I'd throw this in somewhere different for a change. If you are watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Watching us on Facebook, please give us a like and make sure that any lens, whether it is a sun, polarized, mirror, or a combination of those things, comes from Laramie K. And keep watching, because I think Kansi the customer just arrived. As always, Kansi the customer has arrived right on time. Thank you. We are talking about sunglasses, polarization and mirror coatings. Kind of fun stuff for a change. <laughs> are you ready to go? Ready to go. All right, let's do it. I just mentioned this at the whiteboard and it's certainly worth mentioning again. People don't understand that you can turn anything clear that's on the board into a sunglass. This is gonna happen quite often. All right, we've got our two pairs here. You said you're gonna go with this one? Uh, yes, Okay. I like that one. Nice frame. Okay, um, this one would make a really cool sunglass. You can make them into sunglasses? Yeah, actually anything clear on the board can be made into a sunglass. Ooh, well that opens up all the options. It does. Another piece, your prescription is pretty high. Okay. Oftentimes, the clear pairs actually work out better. Okay. They're designed to hold a prescription lens, where some of those sunglass ones aren't really so good at it. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna make two pairs? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wow. Multiple colors. <laughs> yeah. 
Only every two pair sale were that easy, right? Uh, just get used to that, don't be surprised, don't act like your customer is being foolish. It's very, very common for people not to know that anything clear can be made into a sunglass. She may say, so we were out on the boat and a friend lent me her Rudy Project glasses and I did some research online and I found a pair I love. But do you carry them here? We do not carry those. We actually used to. Okay. I still have a couple pairs of those myself. I use them when I'm out biking, love them. Um, we actually carry Smith now. Okay. I'd be happy to tell you about them, but if your heart is set on the Rudy Projects, go across town, um, Dr. Brown's office, it's Amanda works over there. Okay. Um, just tell her I sent you, they carry them, she knows her stuff, and you know, just tell her that I sent you over. Okay, yeah, yeah. I really love what I found online, so yeah. I'll try that out, thanks. Okay. I, I, Always find it's best not to try to like drag someone kicking and screaming into the thing that we carry, because if what you really want are those Rudy's, every time you put on the other pair, you're gonna hate me. So yeah. I don't want you to do that. No, no <laughs> hating. Good, good. <laughs> we have chosen to go with a polarized lens. Have you had one before? No, I haven't. Okay, couple of things that you must know before putting on your first polarized pair of glasses, <laughs> right? Screens like your phone, ATMs, tablets, some screens in your car may look funny or they may actually be blocked. Oh. You may literally not be able to see them. You'll need to turn them a little bit, turn your head a little bit. You'll see how they come in and out of focus. Okay. The screens have a polarizing filter. Your glasses, they can cancel each other out. Just be aware of it. If so you can't see through something, that's the reason why, okay. right? The other piece of it is, is when you're out driving around, you're going to look at cars and sometimes you, the windshields on the cars will have this weird checkerboard pattern. It's not that you're going crazy. <laughs> it's the polarizing filter that's in the glasses. Okay. Just normal. Okay. They're wonderful lenses. You'll really enjoy having them. You'll like the way you feel that reduced glared from everything, okay. but just okay. so you're aware of that. Yeah, seems like stuff that I could get used to. So yeah. most, okay. most people do every okay. once in a while. Uh, we don't, then we'll just put you in something else. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right. Consi may say, I thought I saw something online about sun protection and polarized lenses. Can you tell me more yeah. about that? I can. The, the myth of sunglass protection, and that is the how dark a lens is, or even if it has a polarizing filter, has very little or nothing to do with the amount of protection that it gives your eye against the UV light. Okay. That actually comes from the lens material itself or a clear coating that's put on the lens. Oh. So it's kind of a myth. Your eyes might be a little more comfortable, but they are not any more protected than in a non-polarized lens. Okay, good to know. Yep. She may ask. So what exactly is polarized? Polarized is a lens or a filter on a lens that blocks light that we perceive as glare. And I've never met anybody who likes glare. No, hard to see with that. Right. And what did we just talk about at the whiteboard? She may say. So we live on the lake and by extension live on the lake. Mm -hmm. And we spent hours out there on the pontoon boat. But by the end of the day, my eyes are really tired and sometimes I have a headache. So what would you recommend to help that just not be so uncomfortable? Oh, yes. Um, the Happy Meal is what we would do. <laughs> Happy Meal. Right? The, the comboed meal, rather, I think would be a better way to put it. We want the largest coverage that you are comfortable okay. wearing. And it's something like this. Mm -hmm. We want the mirror coating. Okay. So as much light that's coming off that water and from the sun is getting pushed away from your eye. Makes sense. We want the nice backside AR coating. Explain what that does. If it's not on there, the light comes in from behind, hits it, and then bounces back into oh, your eye. Okay. This kind of confuses it. The light doesn't know quite what to do, and it just kind of just doesn't go anywhere instead of dancing back okay. into your eye. A little bit more comfortable. Again, less light coming into your eye. Nice, dark, gray, polarized lens, and some side coverage as well. Okay. That's really everything we can do once you put your ball cap on over that. And that's about as much as you can offer. I almost can guarantee you'll feel a whole lot better if you set up something like this. Yeah, I, I just think going bigger and darker than what I have now would be yeah. even a start. So yep. shall I try them on? Yeah, absolutely, because I wanted to point out one other thing to you on those, or okay. two other things, oh, wow. actually. Nice. Yeah, show the folks at home. There. Yeah. Um, notice how wide that temple is. Oh yeah, okay. here, yeah. Great for protection. Again, less light able to come in on the sides. Okay. 
just be aware you're losing some of that peripheral vision. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. You you know some people are fine you know looking around they can drive with them. Other people find that a little distracting. They want something a little bit smaller tempo for driving for out and about. Okay. So Makes this sense. is kind of the boat pair if you okay. will. Okay. The other thing about these you have fairly high lens powers. Yeah. You have to wear your glasses in order to see and get around. Those are so dark. I'm going to guess that when you're heading home from being out on the boat all day, you're the one who gets stuck running into the supermarket for dinner. Of course. Right? right. If you don't have your clear pair and you go inside with those, you might have trouble going shopping. Oh. And that's how dark those are. Okay. It's really bright in here. You don't notice it. You're thinking, well, no, not yeah. really that bad. But if this is a normal light bulb situation, you'd barely be able to see me. Okay. And that's how dark those are. Okay. So just be aware of those things. That's a much better pair. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see yeah. how we can do that. Here we go. Okay. And folks, honestly, this is actually my pair of glasses that I wear strictly out on the boat. As always, we cannot cover every possible scenario here. Just wanted you to hear some of the language and things you want to talk with your customers about. If you do carry a proprietary brand, this particular one's Smith, we also mentioned Rudy Project. If that is your proprietary brand that you carry where you work, make sure you really know about that product. Mm -hmm. She's got a cell phone, she's got internet, she can look all that stuff up. You have got to know more than your customer does and you can't be stammering and guessing and trying to look it up in front of them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. This stuff costs a lot of money. I want the confidence that the person I'm buying them from actually knows something about them. Another piece, be super careful on pricing those up. The basic ones, they'll just come with a price tag on it. They're usually fixed across everything. If it gets a prescription pair, well, you throw everything out the window and everything changes and you have to price things up very, very differently. If you do not price these things up correctly, you won't even break even. You will lose money. So be super careful. Some of those price lists are crazy confusing. If you need to create your own cheat sheets, I would strongly encourage you to do that. Sunglasses, polarized sunglasses, mirror coatings, it should be a fun part of your job, okay? Not everybody loves buying their dress pair and their clear pair and their computer pair. Most people really enjoy buying a pair of really nice sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Making those into sunglasses, you should be very happy. Hey, what is the Laramie K mantra? People love to shop, people hate going to the doctor. So this is gonna be a win-win happy time for you. So for goodness sakes, have some fun with it and let your customer have some fun too. Absolutely. Very good, thanks. Coatings. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> He's, all right, let's try that one again. <laughs> <laughs>